Alrighty, so we have a construction update today, um, and wow, the shots were absolutely stunning due to the overcast. Um, so I was really impressed with the shots, so hopefully you guys like the shots. Um, to sum it all up, the, the final last bit of the drop is done. So all that's left to go in now is that pre-drop. I also apologize for my voice. It turns out I actually had a really bad chest cold, um, and that's why I still sound sick. <laughs> Um, but yes, so the remainder of the drop is done. Um, they have just the pre-drop to go in, um, a block break, a uh, turn piece over column seven, and then the remainder of the lift hill that will actually be installed altogether. So there's about six pieces in total um, to be installed. And the goal from what I've heard is Friday. So their goal is to have this lift hill done by Friday. Um, that has, uh, that's what was said to the engineering students that actually were at Wonderland yesterday. So, uh, Wonderland has said that their goal is to have the lift hill done by Friday. Um, so the lift hill, the drop and everything on top. <laughs> so that's really exciting. So there should actually be a construction update, um, tomorrow as well. And Thursday and Friday, if all goes well, if there's nothing to film, then I'm obviously not going to upload any footage, but, um, it was beyond impressive to see the drop today. So it looks absolutely stunning. Um, and just to get that angle and the shot of it being literally the essentially the same height as Behemoth was absolutely insane. And you can now see that this thing has uh, gained height on Windseeker. So for anyone that was in person or if you're driving on the highways or the roads around the park, it actually looks very tiny because Windseeker is just this massive tower and B&M track, despite how massive it is as well next to the tower it just looks so tiny it almost looks like a toothpick when you're far away on the roads um standing up tall next to Windseeker. so in person it looks a lot larger so the views this weekend so for anyone that is documenting yukon striker construction or getting pictures and all that you're gonna want to go this weekend because you're probably going to get some awesome hopefully weather permitted Fingers crossed, some awesome shots of a completed lift hill and drop and everything else. So that's truly exciting. Um, the uh, steel piles uh, or sheet piles um, look like they are done from what I gathered in this shot. I think uh, I'll, I'll actually get the drone over there. It was really risky flying today. So for anyone that knew, the wind was about 26 kilometers an hour and it had gusts of up to 45 to 50 kilometer an hour wind. So I was... If you're wondering why I'm like stopping for long periods of time, it's me holding um, still while there's a gust of wind. Um, so if in fact me, you see me flying right now, this is me full throttle to the left. OK, normally these drones can fly really quickly. I was struggling in some um, aspects to fly my drone. Um, so the, the, I'm actually flying a little lower than I typically do. So and that's just for safety. So I can emergency land it if uh, I needed to um, without doing any harm or risking anything, <laughs> but still got um, a decent height up um, and got some awesome shots. So hopefully you guys really enjoy it. There's not much else I can comment on in terms of what's going on. I do. I'm hoping really hoping that the Immelman loop will also start construction before the park closes in two weeks. So we know that Wonderland will unfortunately be shut down in two weeks for their winter off season where they do all their maintenance and uh, repairs that they need to and get everything ready for next season. Winterfest will be next season as well. So, you know, I will be getting a platinum pass um, for Winterfest. Um, and if you don't need a platinum pass, get the gold passes because it gets you into Halloween hot and Winterfest. And uh, Truthfully, that's an amazing deal, and Winterfest is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be cold. It's going to be really cold, but it's going to be fun to have something to do close to home. Um, and I know Cedar Fair is going to do Winterfest extremely well, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, not too much else to say. We're still missing um, the, the covers for the electrical um, wiring that goes up the right side of the hill. So you can see that clearly here, the white, and then it has that gap. Don't know why yet, um, but who knows? Maybe on one of those construction tours that I get, I'll be able to ask. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoy the footage. There's um, 
footage of them closing down for the night. So you'll see that. Um, and uh, yeah, I got some really awesome angles of the drop. I try to get every angle possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the footage. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. As usual, um, there'll be lots more videos to come. Again, uh, there should be a construction update almost every day. And then Saturday as well when I go in person to get those awesome up-close shots. Um, and then I think there actually may be a surprise for you guys. Um, hopefully. If all goes well, there should be a surprise for you, I think, um, this week. I'm just waiting to hear. Um, so... Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and as usual, have an awesome day. Bye.